Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3! I'm Subponigate Poster, and we're gonna do some chats and run around and just do nothing very important at all. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Aw, oh, shucks. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. They must not be Americans. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit-and-runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Brexit! Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And it's enough. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. Tequila, all right? Try not to get stuck in the fucking floor. And it doesn't really work. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the Combuy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Highly technical analysis there. Thanks, Edie. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? It's a gay joke. You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me. That's what I need. More drinking. And James didn't have anything to say, so I cut it. Doing a story on the Asari turned into reaper creatures. The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Ugh, we have to. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. 
Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Good to see you. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Samara is the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. Now so are the Bioware forums. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. How's it going? This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Always jolly, Javik. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. I hate that that triggers after you leave. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. It makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder. Eliminates any local resistance. And for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two. The one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus, or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Uh, well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Poor Rila. I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardot Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. So let's blow up a building, I guess? I don't know. And we'll go to our cabin since a fuckload of people want to talk to us here. Eat our fish. Got a pretty good collection going on. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. Gooey interface. Not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers.
Real subtle ship. That's funny. I figured you'd be more interested in a shower. I didn't realize that was an option. It's an option. Well, just give me a moment to grab my things. Ah, uh, hot water and room to stretch. I could get lost in here. Mm. Oh, it's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice for somebody. Hot date lined up? Hopefully more than just that. I play for keeps. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. And trainer is a romance option for Femme Shep only. And, uh, well, we're not Good cheaters, luck. so... Holler if you need anything. Oh! Will do! Thanks again, Shepard. No problem. Take as long as you like. And don't think this saves you from our chess match. <laughs> Just give me a minute to dry my hair. I guess you shower and do laundry at the same time. Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do. And it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. Correction, they've but failed they way more times than they've succeeded. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now, a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. And yes, Allers is also a romance option for either Shepard. We're just fine in front of you. But if I'm not gonna cheat with Trainer, I sure as fuck ain't gonna do it with Allers. You did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. 
Sorry, Lola. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? Duh. I'm a soldier, Vega, and I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. Ugliest armor. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. This timeline's all no fucked up. I killed him, and destroyed the collector ship, but it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And that's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either the God, my eyes. soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously, if you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. And speaking of chess, we got this from Petrovsky. It's a little souvenir. We can get some other things too, we'll pick up. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Falair is safe. And Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. No, thanks. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard... Be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Guess it's a little reference to our war score. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. Good luck with that. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? 
The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Falaire be alright in the Monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. In a surprise move, Batarian ships from the fallen Batarian hegemony have joined Alliance forces. The Gemini leaders have stated that defeated... Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories. Imagining the wonders of this place. Oh, it's not that the wonderful. Of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. I love you, Javik. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? Uh... For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Dorian, Asari, Hana, there was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Good job, Javik. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. 
I will see you back on the Normandy. I ran off and, oops, had to come back. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. That's important. Much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Ah, oh, Miranda's ass. We've missed you as a character. Be working with the elusive man. Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. And I like the fact that the smoke from the Cerberus raid sticks around forever, and everyone's just ignoring it. Caden, what the fuck? Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we don't ask how, or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars, and... There weren't enough moments like this, with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I was thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? No, it's true. I mean, some people even find my, uh, integrity annoying. Really? No, seriously, I've... <laughs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander, and I value your friendship. That's okay, Caden. At least you're less I'm creepy now. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Mmm. Sanity check. Turn in a side quest here. Her name is Tasha Pore. Whoops, sorry. P-O-R-A-E. Weshra? 
I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. You're welcome. Bye. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. On fire? Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Nerd. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Do we have to go through this shit every time we spend more than like 10 minutes apart? Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Wow, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way too. I know. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I have side quest. I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fit? I didn't sign up for that shit. I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matching. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You are such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just... I didn't mean to... You know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! Careful! Oh, I see your Batarian still passed out in the corner. Go us. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Are the refugees consider you their leader? Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. 
I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Don't be a dick. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. That's my boy. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turians swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You get a new scar every time I see you. Losing a step there in your old age? <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. Touché. Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. And you get a choose, and I'll miss it just for Garrus. Though it's funny if you make it too. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument. Right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. 
Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Mass Effect 3. I'm Saponicate Poster, and join us again next time, and we'll actually do something.